Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the death of Captain Marvel. So the first thing to say is probably that this collection is about the first Captain Marvel. This is not about Monica Rambeau who is the second Captain Marvel nor is it about Cal Danvers who is Captain Marvel in the MCU who is the seventh Captain Marvel. This is about the first, the original Captain Marvel. So Marvel, or Marvel, as his name actually is, is a member of the Kree. And these, of course, are one of Marvel's main alien races, along with others like the Scrolls, the Brood, the Shi'ar Empire. And he's part of a mission the Kree have sent to Earth, um, essentially in retaliation for the fact that uh, a Kree robot has been destroyed in a completely different story. So this Kree mission gets uh, sent to Earth, which Marvel is a part of. And along with Marvel is his partner, Una, who is the medic on the mission. Now, this in itself is a problem because the commander of the mission, Yon Rog, has his own ideas for Una, which means he needs to get Marvel out of the way. So he sends Marvel off on a solo mission, which he is hoping is going to be a suicide mission that Marvel is not going to return from, even if it means he's got to interfere in the mission himself. And he's hoping that this will then leave Una free for himself. Now, I did say this was not about Carol Danvers. However, Carol Danvers does appear in this story. This is before she acquires any superpowers. And she, at this point, is the head of security at the missile base featured in this particular story. And then moving on to story number two, by this point, Marvel has uh, abandoned his own people, the Kree, and become the Earth superhero, Captain Marvel. Now, this also features Rick Jones, who's Marvel's sort of sidekick. And they've got kind of a weird setup in that one of them will be in the main Marvel universe, while the other one has to kind of float around in somewhere called the Negative Zone. And only one of them can be in the main Marvel Universe at any one point. Um, although they can switch backwards and forwards. Now this story features Marvel fighting a villain called Nitro. Who's got quite a weird superpower in that he can blow himself up and then reform himself. And Nitro in this particular story is trying to steal a canister of gas. Now, during the course of their battle, the gas canister gets punctured and Marvel is forced to seal up the gap himself. Now, this, as it turns out later on, is actually a very important event. Um, story three is a space based story rather than having Marvel on Earth fighting a, a Earth based supervillain. And this features a whole bunch of weird kind of alien uh, beings in it. And in this case, Captain Marvel is fighting alongside Drax the Destroyer, who, of course, has been featured in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Although, of course, this is the comic book version of Drax, not the movie version of Drax. So uh, a little bit different. The final story in this collection is the death of Captain Marvel story itself. And we find out at the start of this that the previous story that featured the, um, the gas canister and nitro, the gas in question has given uh, Captain Marvel cancer and he is now dying. So at this point, Marvel only has a couple of months left to live and all attempted cures have failed. And the story features some flashbacks, um, giving us background information and telling us Marvel's story, uh, including his uh, encounters with Thanos. 
and eventually uh, this information about what is happening to him is passed on to other heroes and a whole bunch of them eventually turn up to visit Marvel because he has become an Earth hero and he's fought alongside a bunch of the other characters and become friends with them and a lot of them turn up firstly in an effort to try and help uh, to try and find something to uh, stop Marvel dying or possibly cure him and eventually it gets to the point where uh, they are all there basically just to pay their last respects. Uh, this is a great story not to mention an unusual one by Jim Starlin and the entire collected edition The Death of Captain Marvel is definitely well worth picking up. So that's our look at the death of Captain Marvel. That is it for this video. Until next time, remember, hit the thumbs up below and I will see you in the next one.